Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your Divine Masculine Weekly Forecast. Today's theme is your what I dream about. So what I've decided to do is I have taken one of my decks. This is the Erotic Activations Oracle decks, and I built an outline for today's reading. So you guys will see everything that we're going to be offering in today's reading, as well as the extended in the description box down below. So I do tend a channel for those that are experiencing either a separation or challenge in their connection. So please keep that in mind. And everything I'll be using today will be listed in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. The first thing that we're going to focus on is the drenched energy, which is how are you currently affecting this divine masculine? So basically, how is your vibration, just what you're currently focused on, what you're currently doing with your life, etc. How is this actually affecting the divine masculine? Let's take a look at this. So I'm actually going to put this right over here. And we're going to go into this deck here and see how your current energy is affecting this divine masculine. So how are you affecting this divine masculine currently? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here. Perfect. Ooh, you have this boss energy. I love to see this here for you guys. So right now it says you have your shit together. It says being precisely who you are and in hot pursuit of your goals that they captivate and inspire others. So basically your masculine right now is captivated and inspired by your boss like energy. That's some pretty very uh, like strong energy coming through for this reading. So right now, if you guys are just focused on your business, focused on yourselves, um, if your masculine has a way of knowing this about you or seeing you perhaps on social media, this is the vibe that he's getting from you. It's very strong, independent, and boss like okay oops so we also have this energy of regret so the thing is it's like you're turning your regrets into uh wins successes victories so instead of sitting around you know this little kind of you know sad boy he's just feeling bitter he's feeling disappointed he's in a lot of you know grief no you're not doing that. So you have taken your frown and turned it upside down is what I'm picking up on. So you have carried yourself, picked yourself back up. Maybe you were crying for this masculine at one time. Maybe you were reaching out for answers or clarity. I feel like a lot of you have pulled this energy back. And so it's now coming through as very strong and very empowered now. So this is fantastic for those of you that wanted to know, has your divine masculine noticed this energy in you? The answer would be yes. Okay, let's see what else. What else is going on here with your energy? Uh-huh, investing in a future. So you're investing in yourself with that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace is singular. It's you. It's also the beginning of something. Pentacles is worth, value, investing in solid things in the material world. And that's just what I'm seeing here. So instead of being so invested in your connection, you know, even though that might be in the back of your mind, it doesn't matter. You're putting yourself at the forefront and this masculine is taking notice of this. So you're not crying over him anymore. And it's not to say that you were, but you know, sometimes, we just go down that road where unfortunately, you know, we're feeling we're in a lot of pain and we're feeling a lot of this energy here and you can't help but just kind of maybe reach out or maybe throw a text here and there and not really get anywhere with someone. I feel like you've pulled this energy back. So that's really good. So how you're affecting this masculine currently, you're affecting him in a way where he feels very captivated, attracted and inspired by you. Um, if he was feeling any kind of negativity or feeling um, almost like, I hate to put this out there, but maybe feeling a little um, put off by your energy or just kind of wanting to avoid it in a way, maybe even repelled by the energy, this is completely turned around because you're now investing in yourself. And that's a very attractive energy. We also have wild child. This is awesome. So this just means right now, it might be that he is seeing you live your life. You're kind of like maybe doing some things that you've always wanted to do free, maybe even a little carefree, 
trying some new things, putting yourself out there, uh, being just kind of gutsy and um, taking some risks and things like that. So maybe even just being a little rebellious because it says the wild rebellious side of you keeps people on a roller coaster. You're not afraid to break the rules and rebel against authority to achieve your goals. So this is really awesome, you guys, because what I'm getting from this is that your masculine is seeing you as somebody who basically might not be playing by the rules right now. You've kind of, in the, in the way you're coming across as the fool and not as in foolish, but as in you're creating your own rules and you're unlike anyone else. You're very unique. You're also very unpredictable. He can't put his thumb or his finger on you. He can't figure something out. So he's a little bit in the dark. There's this mysterious vibe to you right now that he can't quite figure out. We also have roller coaster energy. So it might be that, you know, he feels kind of high and then low when it comes to, you know, thinking about you or feeling your energy. So I just feel like it's not predictable. He can't quite put his finger on it. Just when maybe he feels like he's got it figured out, you chain, you shift gears, you flip a switch, you chain thing, change things around. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I got the fool energy, remember? And the fool in tarot is all about fresh starts, new beginnings, uh, taking a risk, doing things that are new and unconventional. So I just feel like you've reestablished yourself. You've really refreshed your pers perspective. You refreshed your life in some sort of way. He sees you as a totally different person. So I feel like you guys did a 180 actually, and the masculine has taken notice. You may have always been the kind of person where you played it too safe. You always were so predictable. And now all of a sudden you're very unpredictable and he doesn't exactly know where he stands with you or where just where things stand, period. So there's this kind of up in the air feeling with you. This is what I'm picking up on. Well, all right, this one will fly out. Oh my gosh, look at you. You're coming through as the queen of wands. That's my favorite card when it comes to the way you want to represent yourself. The queen of wands is Aries energy, very dominant in charge, kind of taking, um, you know, domination basically of your own world ruling your own kingdom. That's the queen of wands. It says, I know what I want and I'm going to go after what it is that I want. Unapologetically you, this is the wild child to me, but you, you're coming through as very poised queen, um, boss. Yeah. Look at her. She is so fantastic. So yeah, that's how your masculine is, um, being affected by you. He, it knows that you have other people that are around you that are attracted to you, that want you, that might even want to start fresh and start new and have something to offer you. You're kind of like a wild card, I feel, for this masculine right now. It's like, does he play this card? Does he take a risk on you? Does he take this chance? Would you even want anything to do with him kind of thing? Maybe you're just like, you're outshining him right now. Maybe he feels even a little intimidated. So let's go ahead and get one more round here. Ooh, look at you. Very, very stern here. It says discernment. You're very particular about the type of person that you let in. Very protective of yourself. Others feel they must approach you right, which makes it hard to fool you. Okay. So this masculine actually feels like if he's going to come towards you, he better come correct or forget it. Don't even bother with this because you're the queen of wands. You're not going to, you're going to see past the, you're, I mean, you're going to see right through the bullshit. Basically, you're going to see, um, if, someone is authentic. And if they're not, then you're not going to be afraid to say next, basically. So masculine knows, and it depends on, of course, what you guys went through before, which led to maybe a separation or a challenge. Um, but you're smarter now. You're smarter, you're wiser. He may not be able to get away with the things that he used to, which is a good thing. And he sees you as somebody that he would absolutely have to start fresh and start new with the old ways will not apply because you're not going to put up with it. Mm -hmm. So your newfound energy is refreshing and it's very empowering. And it basically, um, you know, I feel like it's going to push this masculine to come correct. If he, if he comes back around, you know what I mean? So there that there's that. Yeah. You better recognize, <laughs> I swear that's what it is. It's like he can see you. He can recognize you. He's acknowledging you and your power. It's like you're verified. You know how when you, um, I think it's on Instagram or maybe even on, 
I forget what the other one is called, but you're verified. It's a, you know, wow, like this is who you really are. Um, so he is seeing you in your true identity, like who you truly are. You're a vision of the Queen of Wands to him right now. He sees you as very beautiful, very attractive. So I feel like he's seeing you. I'm not saying in a whole new light. I'm sure he's seen you very attractive before, but he sees the real you. He sees you in your passion. He sees you living your life. He sees you in your boss energy. It's very, very strong. And it might even intimidate him just a little. Oh, look at this. Six of Pentacles. So reciprocated efforts. What this means, you guys, is he sees you as somebody to where he, he's not going to just, he doesn't expect you to just give him everything and give nothing in return. This is a, this is a card that is about equality. It's a card where he is seeing you as an equal partner. For whatever reason, maybe he didn't see you as an equal before. Maybe he thought you were too good for him, etc. But there is this energy where he's starting to recognize that you guys are actually a really good match, that you're somebody that he wants to show up for, somebody that he wants to be with, change for, um, rise to the occasion, rise up to your level to be with you, to prove to you his, you know, just like, that, that you're worth it or that he's worthy of you actually is what I'm getting here. So whatever you're doing right now, feminine, I feel like this is having a profound effect on the masculine in a very encouraging and positive way. Okay. That's what we're seeing here. All right, you guys. So that is the energy that is consuming your masculine. This is the energy that you are drenching him in with your queen of wands vibe. I love this. So now we're going to go in sleep. I see you in my dreams. So you're what I dream about. This is where we're really going to tap into this vibe. How are you showing up in your divine masculine's dreams and subconscious mind? Okay. Let's take a look at this. How are you showing up in your divine masculine's dream and subconscious mind, subconsciousness? Let's see. Oh, these two wanted to come out. We have stay committed and we have bitterness. Very interesting. So it's like, I just got, it's a bitter pill to swallow. He should have stayed committed to you. There's this feeling here when he, how you're showing up in his dreams. It's almost like a, a fear-based kind of a nightmare, right? So um, it's a bitter pill to swallow now after the fact. So I feel like this dream has something to do with him losing you or losing you to someone else. Um, maybe it's someone that you're like in this dream, you're with someone else and he can't have you. That's what I'm picking up on. So there's some sort of just... I don't know. I don't want to use the word trauma, but there's some kind of a fear that he has that's popping up in his subconscious and in his dreams. So he's seeing you committed to someone else. He's seeing you with someone else. This could actually be real. And this is just something that is coming up in his dreams, but it's making him feel bitter or it's a bitter pill to swallow because it's kind of like that feeling, that nightmare of, oh my gosh, it's too late kind of thing. Oh yeah. Keep hush. Interesting. Can't speak. So in his dream, I don't, I feel like there's a, this is anxiety. He actually has anxiety uh, over this dream where you're not speaking to him. You won't speak to him. Um, or there's certain things that he wants to say, but you know how you go to run in a dream and sometimes you can't run. I feel like this masculine is trying to speak and he can't, like the words are not coming out. It's like he's mute. So this is definitely hard. Like he's seeing you do something, maybe even be married or, or move on with your life. And it's like he's screaming in the middle of the room and he can't get your attention. It's kind of like, you know, um, speak now or, ever hold your, or forever hold your peace. And it's like he has in that moment, he has the opportunity to do something or to say something and the words won't come out. It's like his mouth is sewn shut or something in this dream. Look at this, we have consumed by passion. So there's actually something here where it leaves him longing for to, to be with you. He's consumed. It's like this all-consuming energy here where there's nothing that he can do to change. And he's just left with this desire for you. It's a bitter pill to swallow, losing you to someone else. So there's a dream that I feel comes up for him, whether there's some truth to it or whether or not this is his fear deep in his subconscious, it's coming out in a dream and it's causing some sort of anxiety is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else. How else are you showing up in your divine masculine's dream or subconscious world? Let's 
see what else is coming through. Okay, we have magnet. Oh, yeah. So this right here, see, longing, desire. You see this? Magnetic attraction, charm, seduction, yearning. Here it is. So there is some, it may be that there is a separate dream. You know, he sees you in his dream and he's consumed by passion. This is a very erotic dream. Um, it's, it's very, um, steamy basically, but I feel like it could be connected to where it's like being left with that longing feeling that you just lost something that was so important to you. Oh, interesting. We have house. He may dream of a house or a home where you guys, um, you know, you're, you're building a home together. You live together. You're experiencing uh, a commitment together. What life would have been like with you had he maybe stayed committed or stayed on that road with you? What you guys could have had? This could also be coming up in the subconscious where he's kind of daydreaming about it or thinking about it. Yeah, we have Lily where you guys would be, but there's something here. You can see that word. Okay. Passion. This word here, uh, seduction, just attraction, longing, desire, all this. So there's definitely something here where there's a lot of longing for you in the dream world or on a subconscious level, but it's like how things would have developed between the two of you, how you guys would have established your lives together. So I, I keep getting this image here of what could have been between the two of you, really thinking about what could have been where your lives would be now had he just known what he had when he had it. Okay, we have island. So this could even be uh, traveling together, right? But there's something about being estranged and separated from you and feeling like you're far away from him. So I definitely get this energy here of maybe traveling or living together, um, maybe living abroad with you, but also this energy here of um, losing you to someone else. I just keep getting that over and over again. This feeling of losing you to someone else is in this dream or on a subconscious level. And then this right here, birth of a daughter, very interesting, what it would be like to have a child with you. So having a home with you and having children with you, especially the birth of an actual, like having a daughter. Um, it could be for some of you, and this is only going to be specific if it's your story. Some of you could have a daughter and it could be that this particular masculine, um, or he has a daughter, but this particular masculine might dream about what it would have been like to be a part of your daughter's life or to be a part of like that process of raising or rearing children together or you being maybe a step parent or something like that or them being a step parent so this is also in their subconscious if they would have just done things by the book basically Okay. If they knew what, then what they would have known now, they would have made different choices. But the book's also about things that are hidden, things that are a mystery, the story between the two of you guys. So it's kind of like whatever chapter you guys left up or left. It's like a storybook, like a story, like a, um, like if your masculine could rewrite the story, it's like he's doing something in a subconscious mind. He's rewriting the timeline. Um, wherever you guys broke it off, he's rewriting that timeline and his just thoughts. I, I, I feel like there's a masculine that's either like listening to music or driving. And so his subconscious mind is just kind of rolling. And these are the things that are popping up in it. Okay, so we do have the fox energy. This could be this masculine's energy where he was very much self-focused and maybe there was some sort of a deceit. Maybe he felt like he didn't want to get trapped or caught up in a commitment. So he let you go, didn't really value what you guys had at that time and just kind of, you know, like I said, either let it go, didn't see the importance of it. So now in this dream world or subconscious mind of his, he's really seeing what could have been and, and what he ha could lose or what he has lost, if that makes sense. And then we have the squirrel energy here, secretive miscommunication. Okay, so this right here tells me that there's something that this masculine wants to say. There is, there's something where you guys have had a miscommunication and instead of saying something, he's kept it in. So in the dream, I feel like he's longing to communicate to you, but it's like the words won't come out. So there's a very frustrating uh, dream I'm seeing at hand. There's a, there's a very frustrating when, when he wakes up feeling a lot of either anxiety or stress because 
it's just not going the way that he would have liked it to go. But there are some scenarios where he is thinking about the life that you guys could have had. All right, what else? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah this here tells me he's dreaming of what could have been had if he could just turn the wheel if he could just turn back time what would have happened he thinks a lot about this you guys i feel like this is i feel like yeah there's some things that are happening in the dream world but a lot of this energy i feel is when he reflects on this connection he wishes he could turn back time he wishes that he could have made different decisions there's something about maybe even um some other relationships that are taking place right now that he feels are in the way. So that might be that feeling of, you know, he needs to stay committed or you need to stay committed. That's if there's third party, it's not going to be for everybody, but there's this feeling of, you know, he just wishes he could have done it differently. King of wands. Yeah. The king of wands is somebody who comes in strong. This of course is the counterpart to the queen of wands. So it's like he envisions himself in this subconscious way um, or in this dream or maybe even like a fantasy or a vision that he is this king of wands, that he comes in very strong. He comes in taking action. He comes in to fight for you, to defend your honor, that he's strong, that he has a lot of courage and strength, you know? So now yeah, there's definitely that vision that he has where he is very strong and takes control. Yeah, because we have the imprisonment energy. And this is what I kind of get here for the dream world or that subconscious like thinking about it. There's like this trap, like he's fi trying to find a loophole to get out of this like trapped way of thinking, feels in prison, feels like he can't move. You know, when like I said, when you're in a dream, you feel like you can't speak, you can't scream, you can't run. This is this is what's happening here. It's happening on a subconscious level where he feels out of control, like he can't do anything. That he's trapped. Yeah, we have this isolated and alone. Feels like he's on the outside or the outskirts of your world. Feels abandoned, feels left behind, feels forsaken, feels um, horrible, actually. Yep, feels like you're just moving on without him. You've evolved and you've left him behind. He is literally seeing your, his, your back turn to him that you... Yeah, see, this is in both cases here. He sees you as your back is turned to him. And in the dream... Or when he's thinking about this, he's coming in, trying to face this, t trying to maybe turn the wheel, turn the circumstances between you and him. But it's like, it's very difficult for him to get out of this eight, which is this an infinite, right? Just kind of going round and round. And he's trying to find a way out of this, like this kind of hell. And, and it's like, he can't. So his subconscious is trying to get him to work something out here to become strong and face something. But I feel like there's definitely a lot of um, anxiety and a lot of sadness and a lot of guilt, shame, regret that's tied to all of this. Yeah. And of course, what he longs to do is he longs to come forward with this, with this message of love to just uh, express to you what's in his heart, you know, to give you that message, to be able to tell you how he feels. And I feel that it's not actually coming through from words. It's coming through from maybe lyrics. So some of you guys have not heard from this masculine or spoken to this masculine in quite some time. If you guys are hearing certain songs, this could be your masculine's way of communicating with you from his heart how he feels about you and the situation. So definitely pay attention to that because she is playing that piano, right? So it's like, his way of expressing to you. It's like he can't really even express himself verbally in even these dreams. He can't express himself verbally right now in, in the physical world. So how it's being done is through a song. So if you wake up with a song in your head, I definitely suggest looking up those lyrics because that is a, that is a, a words or a message straight from your divine masculine is what I'm getting here. Um, but it doesn't have to be in a dream. It could be just something that you hear. You just have this overwhelming feeling that it has something to do with your masculine. Definitely do your detective work, look it up, listen to the lyrics. That's what I'm seeing here as far, as far as communication from your masculine, because it's coming to you on a subconscious level. It's not actually coming to you in the 3d world, if that makes sense. Okay. 
So anyways, you guys, that's what we have so far. If you guys would like to join me for some deeper messages, we're going to go into quite a bit over on the extended reading. We're going to see how you outshine everyone else in your divine masculine's eyes. We're going to see what is he, um, what does your DM look or see when he looks at you? Also, what erotic cravings is he having about you at this time? What secret does he want you to know right now? As well as how does he plan on winning your heart over in the future? So if that sounds interesting to you guys and you'd like to join me over there, please do so by the link in the description box down below. Sometimes I get in the comments, where is the extended? I'm not sure if people just aren't hearing me um, or just looking, but yeah, it's always going to be in the extended. And I will try to put it in the comments. That's one thing I should do every time is pin it in the comments. So I will try to do better on that, you guys. So that way it's just easy to just grab that uh, link. So anyways, thanks again for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Uh, see you over there on the extended, maybe. All right, take care. Bye-bye.